Let's get sweaty. Oh my god! <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Oh, you, what's happening? Bam. Oh. Near 30 revolutions of the sun hath passed, some 23 since his heed reared last. Only the brave stand before him, the fearless and the bold, facing the abyss to win a stick of joy and gold. Resurrection time is nigh. Do you feel your heart beat faster? The hour is upon us. Welcome to Games Master. I'm not alone in this attempt to destroy the nostalgic memories of middle-aged men. Please say hello to my beautiful, talented, much more E4 appropriate co-hosts, Frankie Ward. Hello. And Ty Logan. Pam! And finally, it's time to meet the only person on this show with a bigger heed than me, the Games Master. I am the Games Master, and welcome to my power station. Here, I create fiendish video gaming challenges that only the brave or downright idiotic are willing to face. So, don't get too comfortable now. Guys, I can smell fire and brimstone. I feel the breath of eternity on my neck. Either I'm having a stroke or it's our first challenge. This challenge is a speedrun of a platform game featuring the world's most famous plumber, Super Mario 3D World. For some, one way to exhibit gaming prowess is to complete what is known as a speedrun, where a player must get from one point to another in as fast a time as possible. In this challenging speedrun, the brave soul will have to navigate the level Bowser's Highway Showdown at a lightning fast pace. Not only must they collect 70 coins, but they must also defeat Bowser, all in less than two minutes and 30 seconds. Identify yourself. I'm Dean Shanghai Changanu, a digital illustrator and variety content creator from London, UK. I didn't ask for your CV. Now, I understand you're quite the sonic speedrunner, but this is Mario. Do you feel confident making the leap from Hedgehog to plumber? Mildly uncomfortably confident. Ah, is that a shred of doubt I feel? Good. No. Are we done here? Farewell. Thank you, Games Master. <laughs> I do get lonely down here sometimes. Please welcome Shanghai. Lovely to gaze upon you, Shanghai. You look amazing. You look beautiful. Thank you very much. Now, <laughs> have you had a lot of success at speedruns before? Yes. I used to play a lot of old school speedrunning games like Sonic and like all the Mega Drive stuff, yeah. but when it comes to the newer games, mixed results. Got to right. see what happens. Now, you're a quality tester. Yes. Can you explain to me what a quality tester does? You get to play games all day, except that game is broken and you've been playing the same section for about three weeks and you want to die a little bit on the inside. But besides that, it's fine. And see um, the fact that there's so many quality testers out there. Why are there so many bad games? <laughs> None of the games that I test are terrible. No, the challenge is to play a level of Super Mario 3D World. Yes. 70 coins. Yes. Beat the boss in less than two minutes and 30 seconds. I should probably let you know What's at stake here, right? If you win, you're walking out of here with a Games Master golden joystick. One of the most precious items in existence. But if you fail, 
you're going to get flung into the abyss. We bit of pantomime booing there for the audience, which I like. <laughs> and what that means if you get flung into the abyss, pal, is it means you die, like we actually kill you. I don't know if they've explained that to you, actually. It should be fine, I have tomorrow off. Yeah, yeah okay. As long as you, yeah, <laughs> as long as you're phoned into your work, that's fine, right? Frankie, Ty, do you think Shanghai's got a chance here? It's a tight one, but I wish you all the luck. Thank you very much. I do think Shanghai has a chance. However, if you do get thrown into the abyss, you won't need that jacket anymore. So can I actually get first dibs, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Shanghai, you gorgeous individual, take your place in the challenge chair. <laughs> OK, Shanghai, let's get sweaty. First thing Shanghai needs to do is get the cat suit power up because that's going to help them scale walls, run fast, and defeat Thousand more quickly. But if they take any damage, they're going to lose it. So it's got to be a perfect run. And for context here, I gave this run a go earlier. It took me about five minutes, and Shang's got to do it in half the time. And they've gone straight for the green star ring to get some coins on the board straight away. Yeah, I listened. So I was distracted there. I was just looking at Mario's nice VR. Oh, well, they've dodged the ball, and there it is. That's the catsuit that's going to be key for finishing this level. Oh, Frankie. oh it was almost over before they started. They almost fell down there, but they've saved it. And now you can see exactly why they need that cat suit. They need it to scale the wall to be able to get the amount of coins they need for this level. The cat's coming up. Come on, come on, make some noise! Yeah. Beautiful! Shanghai knows what they're doing. And that somersault there was so important because it meant that they didn't get hit by that sneaky ball at the bottom of the steps. Look at them! Oh, they've had to take two attempts at that wall, losing precious seconds. And we only need Bowser to get done in. Right? You are bang on the money, Rab. That moment is nearly upon us. Cue the cutscene. Now, there is one minute gone, Frankie. We're at the cutscene and we've lost one minute already. Hey, nice wheels. That's the frustrating thing about a boss battle. We're only in the first world, so this battle is fairly simple. You just need to knock Bowser three times with bombs that he chucks out the car. The things get a little bit more difficult after the second bomb, which you'll see in a moment, but that cutscene takes up precious time. Can you imagine uh, giving Bowser driving lessons? Bowser definitely has some road rage going on, and look at that, Shanghai's keeping a good eye out for those balls to lob back. Nice. One minute 30 is gone. Listen. This is looking really good. So this is where the cat suit is important. Each ball is three times more damaging when Mario's wearing it, so it's only going to take three balls instead of nine to beat Bowser. Come on! And they just need one more bomb to knock Bowser down, and they've done it! But the level, got it's him. not yet over, Rob. Wait a minute, you're saying the level isn't complete? No, it's not over here again. A precious cutscene taking up the time. We still need to get uh, some coins into Shanghai's oh, kitty. Time is running down here. How many coins have we got? 51 coins, 55 coins. Remember, they've got to get 70 coins to win, and there are a number of coins at the final steps. 15 seconds left. You need to get to the finish, Shanghai. You need to get to the finish. 10 seconds left. 59, 63. Get the coins, jump! You actually went and did it. You did it. I nearly messed it up, but we did that. Ty, my man, what are the crowd feeling about that? To be honest, I'm proud of you, but what do you think? What do you, Because you had a few, look, it's crazy, and we're <laughs> getting used to it. Yeah, it's <laughs> spinning. Yeah, but we're working in process. No, the budget wasn't too good, but we're getting there. It was, it was tense, I'll tell you. Tense one. Two seconds. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. What did you think? What like, do you think? Shanghai absolutely bossed it. They absolutely smashed it. I loved the fact there was so much drama there. It was awesome. Now, Shanghai, I know that we have something that you want. Here we go. Give it to me, baby. Yeah, I can see your wee face lighting up in expectation. Look at your wee face. Let's bring it out here. It's an artifact more rare than a healthy work-life balance in the video game industry. Too real. The game's master golden joysticks. Let's see it. Look at that! <laughs> Beautiful. Are you going to sell it on eBay? Oh, no. Oh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, that's what I would do. <laughs> no. Mm. That's what I'd do. <laughs> These things are for legends only, and you are a legend. Give it up for Shanghai! <laughs> Beautiful!
You know, when I was a child, the dream of virtual reality seemed a million miles away, a thing of fantasy. If I could go back and tell that beautiful little boy that one day I'd be on the telly introducing a VR challenge on Games Master, he'd say to me, future Robert, when exactly did we go bald? <laughs> This is Beat Saber, an immersive VR rhythm game on the Quest 2 where you must use your sabers to slash the beats of adrenaline pumping music as they fly towards you. Not only must you match the colours of your saber to the beat, red on red and blue on blue, but you must slash them in the direction the arrow's telling you, up, down, left, right. Every wrong move kills that bit more of your health, but nothing damages it more than missing a beat. And come on, you know Ty don't like to miss a beat. The difficulty ranges from easy all the way up to expert plus, an insanely hard level for elite special gamers only. However, the holy grail of Beat Saber is what they call full combo. A perfect run where not one beat is missed and everyone is hit just right. On expert plus, this is basically impossible. Or is it? I'm an avid gamer and I've accumulated around about 180 or more records on Twin Galaxies. My name is Sam Tuff. Do some people call you like a gaming legend? Maybe different things, slightly synonymous to it. Beast, maybe even a god. <laughs> <laughs> so the ticket machine just ran out. So far I'd say this is the biggest gaming challenge of my life. It's quite exhilarating. After months of practice, it's the day of Sam's Big Beat Sable record attempt. Before he goes for it though, I want to know, how hard is Expert Plus anyway? So I got the crew involved, and it was jokes. Already. Escape! What? About how many seconds is that? I didn't even get to get my phone now. That is mad, bro. <laughs> right, let's show them how it's done proper. Bam, 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 you saw me! This is madness! Your boy Ty Logan don't mess about when it comes to games, but even I couldn't last more than a few seconds. Do you reckon Sam could do a perfect round of that? You know what, yeah? I bet anything, even my trainers on my feet, he could take them right now. That's how confident I know we can't do this level. Bam, 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 bam. Oh my god. You know what? Let's see what he's got. Yes, Sam, how you doing? That's me. This is the biggest gaming challenge of my life. I'll be playing Escape on Expert Plus. I'll be seeing if I can beat a personal record and possibly get a full combo. I think I'd be rather flabbergasted if I managed to get this combo. Full combo. Yes! Sam! I did it! I knew it! You told you you had this! Full combo! Proud of you, man. Thanks. You? To nail this one on this challenge and get a new high score and get a full combo, there's nothing like that feeling of progression. It feels empowering. Now, a bet's a bet. I get myself into this mess. It's a joke. Look, stones, rocks, can't even walk properly. Look, look. Oh. To relax, some people like to listen to an audiobook. Some people like to listen to ASMR. Me, nothing sends me to sleep faster than the dulcet tones of the Games Master. <sighs> Video gaming has a rich history of first-person shooter games, but is one of the best-selling franchises of all time. Call of Duty is arguably the king of FPS, and this challenge 
is one of the hardest there is. Playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the challengers will be working cooperatively to defeat six veteran-level bots, the most difficult bots they can face. They'll be playing on the small shoothouse map that encourages fraught and high-energy engagement. Everyone will have four lives, and they will have a maximum of three minutes to kill or be killed. Hi, Hi Games Master. Master. Who goes there? I'm Gabby. I'm Emma. So you're taking on my Call of Duty challenge as a cooperative team. Who's the best? <laughs> I think it would be me, but Gabby's good. She's up there, yeah, you are. <laughs> so you play a lot. I do play a lot. Yeah. I play every day. Yeah, every single day, every night. Yep. <laughs> I don't set easy challenges. Do you honestly fancy your chances against the Games Master? Hmm. We play good together, we play a lot of Call of Duty, so we have a higher chance, but yeah. you never know what's around the corner. Never mind around the corner, it's down the abyss you two should worry about. Good luck. Thanks, Thanks Games, Games Master. Hmm. I think I have a Call of Duty to make, actually. I'll be right back. Please welcome Ems and Gabby. Welcome to Games Master. Hi, nice Hi. to see you. Now, you two, apart from being great gamers, you're a couple, right? Yes, yes we, we are. are, yes. <laughs> right, so tell me about what you love about each other. Well, what can I say? She's incredible at gaming, like, honestly. Probably the best female sniper I've ever seen on the game. And she's very loving as well. Everything about Gabby is just perfect. Couldn't ask for a better girlfriend, to be honest. What is it that you love about the murder game Call of Duty? <laughs> With me, I just, uh, I love to snipe. I'm addicted to it. It's hardcore stuff. It's like patience. Yeah, it's patience, yeah. You, sometimes you have to play, you can play aggressive or you can play slow. It just depends on your playstyle, really. So, Ems, you're a pro player, right? I'm signed on the Cloud9. I'm more of like a streamer and a content creator, but I have been doing tournaments recently. Is that high pressure stuff? Yeah, it is, yeah. It is. There's a lot on the line if I lose, but if I win, it's can be life-changing. Do you have preferred loadouts, or are you going to tweak it for this particular challenge? Or? Um, so I'm going to be running a sniper rifle, which is a Kana AK, along with an MP5, which is an SMG. Nice. And Gabby, what are you going, going to be, be using? I'm going to be running the M4A1, which is an assault rifle, and also the MP5 as well. And this challenge, ah, oh man, it's not something I could do. You're going to be in a, a little map called Shoot House, right? Yeah. yeah. And you get six bots you're going up against. You've all got four lives each, and you've got three minutes to win. Feeling confident? It is hard, but yes, I am feeling confident. Yeah, because the bots are veterans, so it's the hardest level. I could talk to you all night. Frankie. Something that people should be watching out for is those pesky bots are outnumbering these two. So they are going to have to watch their backs for flanks all the time. If you win, you're going to be taking away two Games Master oh, golden wow. joysticks. But if you lose, <laughs> you'll be going to the abyss. So say your goodbyes to each other just in case and take your positions as we play some Call of Duty. Good luck. <laughs> Let's get away. Let's remind people of the mission. We've got Gabby and Ems, two players against six bots, and they've got four lives each. So they're going to need to make 24 kills when they've only got eight lives between them. This is going to be hard. We've got Gabby on the top screen and M's on the bottom. Oh, and she's got the first enemy in sight. And there's her with her first kill in one shot. And she's got another enemy right there. And it looks like Gabby's in a firefight too. Oh no, she's been taken out. Oh, Frankie, this is the real stuff here. M's is trying to use her flashbang smartly. Oh, she's been shot from behind. Oh, no. So now you can see them moving together as a team, trying to flank their enemy. But Gabby's getting overrun outside the building. She's taken a hit. She is out. Right, I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold. Ems is eventually with a kill, but she has so many enemies on her now. Oh, and she's been taken out too. They're now both down to two lives. But they are sustaining some kills here. They're, they're taking some hits. Oh, and Gabby's got a kill. But with a headshot, Ems is onto her last life. And Gabby's been taken out too. She's on her final life too. Look at that map grab. They're getting absolutely cornered. This is so dangerous. Oh, Frankie, this looks so hard. There are so many enemies. Surely it's going to be over soon. Oh, oh no, Gabby's no. been shot and so damn oh, we have just... It's all oh. over. Oh. Ems and Gabby, Ems and Gabby. Come and join me, come and join me, come and join me. Come on out, come on out.
it just looked unbelievably difficult. It is, yeah. it is hard, I tell you, it is hard. That terrain is something different. Yeah. The hardest spots, like I forgot, like they can literally track through like walls. They just yeah. know where you are at every time, so it's just... Yeah, and it's tough, it's like, how do you stop yourself from getting flanked? Flanked, yeah. flanked all yeah, the time, yeah, that's... Just... There's only two of you. You have to have really yeah. good map awareness. Yeah. Was there anything that they could have done? Uh, I mean, I'm no one to tell the pros what to do. I think maybe have someone on Slayer duty with the MP5 just flanking and trying to out-rotate those, those bots that were flanking you constantly, basically. That's the only thing I can really think of. Well, it's very sad. There is no Games Master Golden Joysticks mm. for you to take away. You're going to get flung into the abyss. Well, I'm going to die with the person I love the most, so... Oh, that's sweet. It's romantic, it's a romantic death, but take them to the abyss! Ah, when young love dies, <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> Listen, when it comes to games, I don't trust no one else apart from rap. Oh yeah, Frankie, myself, my mum, Gary, Rox, Paul. Right, that's enough. <laughs> Listen, check out this wicked review he done from his house in a place called Scotland. Welcome to beautiful Helensborough. If you gaze across the water there, you'll see a long black thing. That thing's called the sugar boat. It's a boat full of sugar that capsized in the 1970s. Its captain steered that sinking boat onto a sandbar to save his entire crew. He's a hero, that guy. And it lives there now, and it's forever home. Its own little ecosystem. And it's easy, I think, to walk past beautiful things like that if you don't know that they exist. That's why I think it's important to review games like Cruise and Blast on the Nintendo Switch. Cruise and Blast is a racing game. It's a port of this bombastic arcade game from a few years back. You pick your ride for a wheel of 23 custom vehicles, for licensed supercars to monster trucks, unicorns to fire engines, and race them on 30 completely over the top tracks. And it's the kind of racing game that's fallen out of fashion in recent times. It's fast, it's over the top, it's outrageous, and it's just a whole load of fun. Now in the solo mode, there's not a huge amount of content, but you can try and beat your best times. That's what racing games really should be all about. And there's a brilliant split screen multiplayer mode as well. If you're not into that, I don't know what to tell you. It's a brilliant game. It feels great in the hands and it gives you that sensory overload that you remember for being in the arcades. If you're as old as me, you'll remember it. So, don't go walking past Cruise and Blast the same way you might go walking past that boat over there, because it's full of sugar. Sweet, sweet sugar. And that's why it's getting the Games Master Four Finger Special. Yeah, there's nothing better than when a famous person comes for a visit. Frankie, who's at the enormous door? This celeb is well known for her potty mouth, so we've given her a dirty, dirty challenge. Our celebrity challenger will be playing the third-person paint shooter, Splatoon 2. Playing as inklings or octolings, using coloured ink as ammunition, challengers will be in a turf war, with their prime objective being to cover as much turf, meaning ground, as possible with their coloured ink. The challenger who paints the most territory in three minutes wins. This challenge will not be simple, as it will take place in the Walleye Warehouse, a close-quartered map which will force challengers to paint in the same places. Right, who's next to snuff it? Wagwan Games Master. Wagwan. I'm Sneetcha Shy, I'm a TV and radio presenter, and I'm from South London. So you believe you can defeat my resident gladiator on Splatoon 2? I'm not that confident, but my mum's always taught me you've got to believe in yourself, so... Let's hope mum knows best. Big up, my mum. Big up, mum. Cheers, Games Master. Her demise is quite simply inevitable.
I know you're a DJ. Do you have um, a history with games, though? Like? Yeah, I play a lot of games on my show. Uh, Ty's actually played one before, actually, yeah. and he got very, very drunk, I would say. So my games tend to involve alcohol, and Ty was actually on the floor. Why are you telling so, them this, Ty? So you should have come and saw me Ty, are you old enough to drink? She, she was late night, she, she kicked me in, it's crazy. He still hasn't got his beard, that's why. So, you know, he's <laughs> still waiting a bit. What's your favourite game? Probably Mario Kart on my Nintendo Switch. I play that on a Thursday night when the friends come over for a house party. If you were to be any video game character, which video game character would you be? Lara Croft, Tomb Raider on PlayStation 1. I still got the PlayStation 1 at my house just to play that game, so just saying. She's running away from the bolt thing that's coming after her in the cave, which is basically where we are right now. Yeah, but why specifically PlayStation 1? Just because that's the one I could do. So, yeah, it's, I feel like all the technicals are getting a bit too much now, so when it was back pixelated, that was just more easier for me to play. Listen. You're doing yourself an injustice there. That was the hardest was Tomb Raider it? game. Yeah, that's, that's oh the difficult God. one. To be fair though, I used to just go to her house. So I don't know if I was really playing, so I just used to go to her house and like go around the mansion and yeah, just Just chill in the mansion with a butler and life. stuff and yeah, just kind of, yeah. yeah. Right, now, Splatoon 2 on the Nintendo Switch. Right, you played that before? I have played Splatoon 2. Well, I've never played it like going head to head uh, with someone, but I have actually painted my mum's house before and done a bad job, so I feel like I can just channel that and then I'll be able to... Listen, it's the same energy, right? It's the same yeah. energy. So, slap down the most paint and you'll win. You'll take away a Games Master Golden Joystick. However, oh, there's a little flying ointment here because you're not facing anybody ordinary. You're facing the one and only Little Lad. <laughs> 30 years ago, Games Master gave birth to an enigma, an undefeatable gaming prodigy who became a legend, known simply as Big Boy Barry. But now, the pupil has surpassed the master. There is a new hero, the Games Master Gladiator, and he wants blood. His father, Big Boy Barry. <laughs> Little lad, Larry, we are going to be playing Splatoon 2. You are going to be playing against Snoochie Shy. You're no shy. I'm not shy of beating her on TV. Yes! Yeah. Oh, this is bigger than hers. It is. Oh, that is serious. Yeah. That is a serious flex. Yours is cute. <laughs> hey! Oh my god! Rain that talking. Ty? Do you know what, Snooch? You see this one here? Be careful. Be on point. Is he looks small, but he's dangerous. Yeah. Let's get this underway. Take your positions. <laughs> Little lad, Larry. Let's get Snoochie. All right, then. This is turf wars. Essentially, all you need to do is cover the most surfaces to win. That is the floor only. The walls do not count. And this map is like a long hallway, so each player has their own spawn area, one at each end, so that they can get to each other and attack each other if they want to. But for the moment, it looks like they're concentrating on painting the floor. Now, Frankie, can you explain what Smoochie's done there? She's disappeared into a rink. Yes, Rab, that is one of the features of the game. You can turn into a squid to travel through your own ink, and the advantage of doing that is that you can travel faster, you're harder to spot, and it reloads your ink. Not a huge amount of interaction between the two players yet, but they're about to meet. Oh, and Larry has splattered Snoochie. Is she dead, Frankie? No, she's not dead. She's going to respawn in her respawn area, but it does take five seconds, and Larry can use those precious seconds to paint the town purple. Yeah, this is why Larry is a gaming legend. He's got perfect strategy, the excellence of execution. He's not any normal nine-year-old. Larry splattered Snoochie again, so that's another five seconds until she respawns, which buys him extra time to cover more floor. And remember, that's the aim of this game mode. And now he's going back in for the kill, and she's been splattered oh, again. Aggressive play from Larry. And on top of that, he's been so smart and covering Snoochie's respawn area in his ink. So when she respawns, she can't swim through the area until she's spent precious time painting the whole area yellow again. Hey, Snoochie just got a wee splat on Larry there. With one minute left, maybe there's a comeback on here. Oh, I don't know about that, Rab. This is little lad Larry we're talking about. He knows exactly what he's doing and already has turned back into a squid. Look how fast he's moving, travelling back to Snoochie's respawn area. And he's got her backed into a corner. He's going for the kill and he's splatted her again. And it just looks like sheer domination. We've only got 10 seconds to go, but Rab, I think we can already predict the outcome of this fight. Two, one, it's over! 
and let's have a look at the final map. Look at all that purple. Prince would be proud. Larry wins. Look at that. Come oh over and join us, guys. Come and join us. Come and join us, guys. Oh, dear, Snoochie. You're wearing purple tonight. I know. The whole place was covered in purple, yeah. purple everywhere. What happened yeah. out there? It, it, it just, I don't know. I have cramp in my foot, so I'm going to use that as Why are you cramping your foot? Yeah, I've got cramp in my foot right now. So well, I'm it looked like you were that. playing it with your feet. Yeah, no, I think so. so I'm, I don't even know. I don't know what happened there. Um, Frankie, could she have done anything different though? You could have splattered him back. And that was one of the issues because he'd started to bully you in your spawn area and you were kind of trying to just spray it and reclaim some ink territory. And he had just some clean hits on you. Little lad, Larry, is it going to be thumbs up or thumbs down for Snoochie Shy? <laughs> Nothing burns quite like a celebrity. No, not everybody knows as much about games as me, Frankie, Ty, and Frankie's baby. Some people probably think a Nintendo Switch is a person who likes to be both Mario and Wario in the bedroom. <laughs> My mate Grado is one of those people that knows nothing about games. Bear witness. All right, Grado. All right, mate. Can I ask you a question? Hi. Right. Do you know anything about video games? No. Why are you on Games Master? You tell me. I'm guessing you won't know anything about a thing called adaptive music. Mm. No? No. Let me give you an example, mate, because this is going to blow your mind. Right. You know in the film Jaws, right? I've never saw it. You've never seen Jaws? It's another story for another day, but I've never saw it, legit. In Jaws, when the shark comes, a particular music plays. Yeah, Don't yeah, sing yeah. it. Don't you dare sing it. But music plays when the shark comes, right? But see, in a film, yeah. a composer sits and writes that and puts that in. I know, all right? I know. But the film is a complete thing. It's sitting there. It's started and finished. It's not going to change, mate. Steven Spielberg's not going to go, oh, I'm changing that here, I'm changing that there. It's done, right? Aye. But see, in a game, mate, things are changing all the time. The player decides where he's going. Aye. So how does the music work? Oh, that's a great shout, mate. The music changes as you do things right. in the game. That's really clever, isn't it? Imagine it like this. I'm sitting here right, and at the moment, I'm not punching you. We're just having a wee chat, right? But I lift my fist up, right? It's getting more sinister. I didn't punch you, right? I was only going to tweak your nose. Mm. So it was going to get playful again. And that's what a video game music has to deal with. Music that adapts and changes with the player. Do you want to go and hear some examples? I'll well, do it if you want. Come on in. Do, do, do. It was very exciting having a go at being a goose and listening to how the music changed while being a goose. I've learned how clever writing music for games is and what it's like to be a goose. Now how clever was that? That was mad. Here's something that should fill a couple of minutes. A couple of minutes of your life. No many minutes in a lifetime. Enjoy. <laughs> There is nothing I like more than hanging on a sofa with my pals and playing games. Today we're going to try out a game we've never played before and decide if we're going to go home and buy it for ourselves. Can't Drive This is a cooperative racing game. One player drives a monster truck while the other builds the track for them to drive on. It's not easy though, the track pieces have obstacles on them and if the monster truck drives off the track or goes below a certain speed, it blows up. It's like a cross between Tetris, the film Speed, and that bit in Wallace and Gromit where the wee dog is on the train track. God, I hate that wee dog. All I need now is some friends to play with. None are available though, so I guess I'll just have to play it with my colleagues.
What's this called? Can't drive this. Can't, Can't drive, drive this. this. Can't drive this. Let's go, I've set it up. So yeah, one of you's got to make the track and the other one right. has got I to Right, I think drive. I'm driving, I'm driving on the right. Oh my God. Right. Oh Where are we going? My. Come on, man. Where are we going? Oi. Hey, there we are. Yeah? Come on, I need something, Ty. I need Bro, something. I've got a barrier here. Oh, here you go. Here, here. <laughs> The game this. makes it difficult though, because what it will do is it won't give me much space with my camera, so that's a tricky part of this game. Yeah. Bam. I'm coming. Other way. I'm coming. Yeah, other way. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. other way. Bam. Oh, I'm other coming. Way. Bam. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I'm coming. Bam, other way. What, is this a golf other course? way. Keep going, keep going. Oh, you're going the wrong way, brother. Oh, wait, that's oh, me. Oh, oh, right. oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, because I can't see oh, what. Oh. <laughs> guys, guys, Sorry. I'm smiling. And no, no, the usual fake smile that I use on the show. This is like a real. It's a real one. This is great. This game. It's a good one. It's a bit annoying, but it's a challenge. It gets your mind thinking. I am likely to buy this game. I'm likely to buy this. Put a likely over Frankie's pregnant belly. I am likely to buy this game. As I will for my unborn child. What's next? Surprisingly, for a lifelong vegetarian, I like my video games meaty. And they don't come rarer than this. It's Mortal Kombat 11. This is it. The most bloodthirsty game franchise out there. Mortal Kombat. Challengers will be brutally facing off in the best of three fight on Mortal Kombat 11. But there is art to the violence. They need to be patient, use defense wisely, and use their aggression tactically if they are to come out victorious. These high-level challengers will display the most damaging combos, the hardest-hitting, crushing blows, and the most punishing fatalities, making a true spectacle of video game violence. No, 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 oh, over here. The giant head, yep. Hello. How's it going, Games Master? Ketchup and mustard. As former professionals of the game, your Mortal Kombat reputations precede you. The question is, who is going to win? Oh, definitely me. I'm better at video games. I play a lot more video games. You're a bit old now, you know. We're, we're, we're twins. That doesn't work, does it? OK, shut it. Sorry, Games Master. The best of luck. Cheers, Cheers Games, games master. master. I'll be seeing one of you again very soon. The two twin brother pro gamers known as Ketchup and Mustard. Oh! Yeah! Legends only in this house. Ketchup and the red, Mustard and the yellow. Now, you guys, Mortal Kombat pros, right? Yeah, for 10 years. We're twin brothers, we're best mates, we've been playing fighting games together for a lifetime. I'm excited, I think you are as well. Yeah, I think when it comes to the golden joystick, it's less about me wanting it, and it's me wanting you not to have it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if any of us wanted to be a great Mortal Kombat player, any tips? If you want to be a good fighting game player, the number one thing people forget about is the block button. Or blocking in general. Not every game has a block button, but people are so fixated on, like, smashing buttons, they forget that defense is in the game as well. Yeah. And the second you figure that out, you're kind of off to a good start. Which characters are you playing? So our favorite Mortal Kombat characters of all time, Cyrax and Sector, red and yellow. They're not actually playable in this one. So I play Rain and Mustard plays Frost. I'm able to do what I've been doing for 10 years successfully with a different character. So there's some transferable skills there? Absolutely. And you? Why that character? He has that sense of style and he's just sick, man. Great character. What a match this is going to be. Take your places and let's get this match underway. This is going to be special. These are special players. Let's get sweaty. We've got two entertainers here, Frankie. I think this is going to be really special. Oh, absolutely. So Ketchup is playing the big purple one, Rain. And Mustard is playing the cyborg who likes to whip her head back and forth. Now, the interesting thing about Frost is she's such a fantastic mid-range character. She's so good at controlling the screen. But she's also incredibly good at a distance. She's got amazing combos too. And she's going to bring out the Augusta into the eyes, and that's what we like to see in Mortal Kombat. 
Now, what Rain, on the left, operated by Ketchup, needs to do is to start using the agility he's known for to get flying around the screen, to play obnoxiously. But actually, we're seeing Mustard defend so well here. Frankie, Mustard's defense is unbelievable. Absolutely, Rab. But look at this combo string from Mustard here. He's pulling this off perfectly. He's not letting his brother get a look in. And now he's backed Rain into a corner. And that's really where Ketchup has no one to be because there is no escape. Frost kicks the first round. The first round to Mustard. I mean, this is just impressive stuff. Here we go again. We're seeing the head being whipped off. It could be whipped off and used as a handbag. It could be whipped off and used as a bomb. And oh! oh! An almighty unblockable throw there. And this is what I want to see here, Frankie. I want to see a comeback for Rain. I, just, I don't want it to end in two rounds. Oh, a crushing blow there. That's a supercharged version of a move that comes with a really cool cinematic, but you know what? Frankie, look at this. Frankie, what's happening? Mustard's got Frankie, the option to activate here? the fatal blow, and if he does it, he can supercharge his move. He can do this in a 2 0. But it looks like he's choosing to save oh, it this instead. Is We're going to a third and final game. Ketchup has just gone wild there. This is what we want to see, Ralph. Well, this is it, Frankie. No more showboat, and this is the last round. Here we go. The obnoxious lay is now coming in from Ketchup's reign, and it's brother on brother action. And as we can see again, Rain needs to get out of that corner. But Rain, he's, he's changed the momentum here. He's pushing Frost back. Yeah, he's landed a few blows, but Frost is blocking really well here. Yeah, they are going for it, but there's a little bit more caution here. And that was the weather ball that just came out from Rain. That's a classic move seen in Mortal Kombat 3. And if it landed, it would have stunned Frost. But unfortunately, it was a wrist that just didn't connect. We were seeing a bit of, a bit of ranged stuff there, Frankie. There's not been too much ranged stuff, but no! Oh, a beautiful crushing blow there from Ketchup. But you know what? Mustard is playing this defensively so well and has to because they're nearly at the end of their life. And you know what? They didn't use their fatal blow earlier because they've saved it for now. It can only be used once successfully per match. And he saved it for exactly the right moment, bringing his brother down Whoa. to a crucial low health. And now there's a fatal blow ready for Ketchup. There's a fatal blow ready for Red. Oh, but... I don't know if the chance is going to come to trigger it. And now Ketchup is trying to get in, but unfortunately having to block moves in for the kill and can't complete it, and Mustard has won. It's time for a fatality. <laughs> oh, friendship! Oh. Oh. <laughs> and you know what? It's lovely to end oh, on a friendship a cool fatality thing. because one of these brothers is about to be sent to their own death. Well, that was really something. That was really something. Hey, what did the audience think of that? Do you know what? To be honest with you, I thought they'd done good. But if I was in the game, I'd have beat them both. I'd have beat everyone. <laughs> Sorry, man, what did you think about the game? Gruesome, brutal, Gruesome. absolutely awesome. I thought you were holding back in the first round and I thought, no, we're seeing Ketchup doing his thing. What was happening there? I mean, look, Rain has got some super impressive combos and stuff like yeah. that, but the reality is Mustard fundamentally is better at MK11. Thank you very much. Shut up. <laughs> but I did get that crushing blow on you, though. You did get a cool combo, too. I did, I did, that, did that one cool, that cool combo. combo. I did that one cool combo. <laughs> Bring this man his games master Golden joystick. Catch up. Your brother will now just have to reminisce about the lavender smell of your hair as you're dragged to the abyss. Take him away. <laughs> I prefer mayonnaise myself. It's been a long, hard night. Everybody's been so good. We're so tired. We're so hungry. We're just going to phone in a big takeaway. What do you fancy? Get orders, get orders, get orders. Hey, Games Master, what are you eating? I will have Rogan Josh 
five chapatis, take away. 17 special fried rice, yep. 46 garlic naans, 12 chicken commas, a chaffinch, an onion bhaji.